Welcome to MEFC Realist TV. I am Mick Ruby. I am the responsible publisher and owner of this platform. This is a community platform with a single purpose that we started over 10 months ago is to promote and be activists to get the glazes out. For this single purpose, we are demonetized in order not to be associated with clickbait information. The information that we share is based on our network in association with 1958, meaning that we are a network of people that are working in different places and different positions that are closely related to this deal. Whatever the information that we receive, we share, because this is what it's all about. This is what we want. We want the glazes out. So please do not hold us accountable for whatever information we're presenting. This is as a disclaimer. This is for educational purpose. This is what we've been told and what we've been told might not often happen. Please enjoy the show. Has the Premier League ever been more challenging? If you're welcome, uh, it is my home and I want to achieve success okay 48 hours that's all it takes gone in 30 seconds is another terminology but what does 48 hours mean people been asking me on Twitter because I tweeted a clock with 48 hours let me just explain briefly this is gonna be a very very short video so basically we are coming to the very very end of the road just let me bear with me I'm gonna pull up a slide I'm gonna pull up my famous famous slide well well okay here's the manifesto we all seen it what matters as long as we have a dear commitment clearing the debt having sporting vision and project complete compete to be the best point the best in class uh, invest in infrastructure clear communication and transparency in fan base do not take anything out of the club and this is clearly been you know evaluated by the fan base as well correct now one bidder has gone on 100 percent the other one has kind of got on a partial sell and invest in the community but doesn't really clear this manifesto what most fans wants so what does this 48 hours mean well let's just go back to the bidding and sales process right for you has uh, followed my podcast, you should know that we are in a contract and conclusion phase. This has been gone on by the driven by the rainy group see, ever since November. Definitely, there is no linear time process, and people are reporting on deadlines. But the interesting thing is that been talking about asset deals, the share deals. Um, it's been part of the bidding process, to be honest. They've come down to negotiations in terms of what is a letter of intent. Well, this is kind of the statements in terms of what are we offering you, right? In terms of the legally terms and in, before you actually do the purchase agreement. Um, it is fair to say that the British media got this wrong, right? Because, you know, during the Ramadan period, it was quiet, right? This was a period if, if you're Muslim, nobody's working. It's not, it's haram to work and even to be thinking greed, right? It's called rizik as well, as well. But just let me back that, down the tape. So just say... Jasim and his camp put in the second and improved bid before Ramadan and they were hoping to conclude this business deal before Ramadan. Now this didn't happen. We know the Glazers like to think about things. They think about, you know, milking out as much money as possible. And they said, fine, you got your bid and go take your Ramadan rest. Uh, in the meantime, uh, let's work with the Sir Jim Ratcliffe to see, you know, what can they do, right? Aid came, the bank of, you know, the uh, Qatari bank and everyone came back to, to business, to life again. And now you saw that um, press releases that numerous of British outlets saying that you know, Sheikh Yassim's bid was the one that was not in pole position. It was uh, kind of under evaluation. It was the other way around. Basically, this was to give Sir Ratcliffe a time to respond back. To the bid that is reportedly be somewhere around 7.3 billion to 7.5 billion full sale repeat plus we reported this yesterday as well um undisclosed bid meaning extra money and business opportunities for the glazers to 
do business with Qatar as well. I tweeted this yesterday out that the 48 hours is the ticking period where the responding bid has to say, I will comply, I will raise, or I will fold my cards in layman's terms. Numerous sources, according to my opinion, as I like to fact check, and people that have been watching my podcasts and watching my content for the past 10 months have been following this very closely, okay? I had to do the due diligence, I have to verify and check, but I'm more convinced after checking everything to put it out today as a kind of breaking news in a way, right? I wouldn't put this out without feeling confident, but what does this mean? Well, basically, let me reiterate as a breaking news in a certain way is that, you know, this is kind of emotional because I've been speaking to people involved in the sales process. Um, although there's been an NDA in place, there's people you trust over the years in various different places. And it's been kind of disclosed to me within this past 24 hours at least. Um, Rain Group, Glazes, Rotham, Latham and Watkins, and 92 Foundation has come to a 48 hours exclusivity agreement that started yesterday. They've asked Sir Jim Ratcliffe to respond, and Sir Jim Ratcliffe has been allegedly told he's refused to increase his bid. Therefore, we're coming to a conclusion in a terms of contract and conclusion the way I see it. And that's why I'm saying this next 24 hours, 48 hours is crucial. And it's been told to me by credible sources that Rainy Group are working on a statement that will be released together with Manchester United PLC. Now, will this happen this week? I cannot tell you. All I can say is the end of the road is here and it looks like the Sheikh Yassim will be the winner and the winning bid of Manchester United. Let me know your thoughts and feeling regarding this and as a disclaimer this is not a statement this is just my analysis my digging my um, way of sharing what does that mean in layman's term the clock is ticking well the exclusivity period time is very short 48 hours to complete the deal in terms of finalizing the contract and conclusion sir jim ratcliffe if i may say so has declined um it is makes sense if you look at what british media is reporting that he's been sort of thrown his last dice um offering joel and abram to stay as a minority investors that did not go down well they could not compete at the end of the day what i've been told is a figure around about 7.3 7.5 billion um, i cannot 100 percent confirm these figures uh, nobody really knows but what really matters is that it is 100 percent full sale and it's green and gold and we are getting sold this is my humble research humble opinion i give you back today it's not a statement it is just my findings and speaking to the people around the world close to this deal as well like and subscribe if you want but it's green and gold until we saw this mcruby mufc real estate tv thank you for watching keep you posted thank you so much for stopping by and watching mufc real estate tv don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on the socials